back in 1987, I worked in Hartford at a restaurant called On a Roll, and they hired me as a catering manager. And catering, the catering that I was doing was corporate catering, and that's when that started getting big. I did that during the day, and then at night, I worked as a runner for the skyboxes. So all of these skyboxes were, you know, corporate companies. And I was there for, gosh, three years. And the chef for the Sheridan was this big, jolly guy, and I don't remember his name. So he's like, you should set up a hot dog cart at UConn. On campus, you'd make a killing. And I'm like, okay, well, I... I don't eat hot dogs. I know nothing about, you know, doing anything, running a hot dog wagon or whatever. I said to my then fiance, I'm like, what if, what if, what would you think if we had a, a opened up like a food uh, hot dog cart, you know, at UConn? He's like, absolutely not. And then I called the university and said, are there any vending spots? Because somebody said, you know, see if there's any spots, see if there's other food trucks. So I called up and and there was a uh, facility down, which is still there, but they don't do food anymore. I don't know if this happened a couple years ago or maybe last year. They had put a bid out, a state bid, for that spot who would put food in there. And I bid on it. And I lost to dining services. And I thought for sure I was going to win. And I'm like, this, I'm totally going to win this. And I didn't. And I was so down and depressed, but I got over it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Time went by and I'm like, it, it, it would be great. You know, you'd make a killing, you'd make so much money. Kids love hot dogs. So on and on. And then I called the university and lo and behold, it was one spot that was available. My mother-in-law to be bought me my first hot dog cart. I had this hot dog cart, and I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know how, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sandwiches and sell hot dogs and soup, and it had a little coffee urn on it. And I started February 1st of 1991, and it was like 20 degrees out. And, you know, my first day, I was standing out there in this big uh, down jacket, huge, it was my husband's, you know, freezing. And I made $120. And I was like, oh my God, this is, this is gonna work. The alarm goes off at five o'clock. Um, I usually get here about 5.45. As soon as I get here, I turn the ovens up. And then, and then at 6.30, I start to load up. So I gotta load up, you know, the coffee urn gets, gets started. And then I start loading up all the breakfast stuff. And then just load everything out. And then I leave at eight o'clock, that's it. I mean, I never thought I would do anything like that. I never thought I'd be in food service. 26 years this February 1st. You know, I've been there so long that, you know, you fed my parents, you know? I mean, think about it, you know? It's crazy. My, my name is actually Lizanne. Um, my nickname is Lizzie and you know, Lizzie's catering is, is how everybody knows me. I can just say that I love what I do and I love the interaction with people. You know, people will come to me when they have a problem and you know, I can tell on a, on a, on a regular space, I'll be like, what's wrong? The young man that is a, a very good customer of mine who's, you know, has a form of cancer and is going through, you know, radiation and whatever he wants. It's not about money, guys, you know? It's not about, you know, we need it, um, but you have to help out people that need help. A young man came to me yesterday and ordered a sandwich and then um, said, you know, does water come with it? And I'm like, no, and my assistant said, it's, you know, water bottles are $1.50. And I said, just take it. And he, and he goes, wow, thanks. You know, it's a, it's a water bottle. He, he was thirsty. Take it. I've done that many times, um, and, and I still do that, and I will continue to do that. 
besides the wagon, I have a full catering company. I do usually have weddings every Saturday or large events. I travel a lot, so I get a lot of recipes and thoughts uh, from the different places that I travel. Well, being that I've been doing it for 26 years, you know, again, I mean, I've been doing this before food trucks even there were any, you know, think about it. You know, now it's, there's, there's food trucks everywhere on every campus in every state. You know, there's food truck rallies and it's just all kinds of stuff. So I just, uh, I love what I do. I'll just continue to do it until my husband says, that's it. We're done. And we sell everything and right off into the sunset, I guess.